What's up, Madden 25 Gamers? In this week's Scheme of the Week, or today, <laughs> let me do that again. What's up, Madden 25 Gamers? In today's Scheme of the Week video, we're going to be taking a look at a, another great uh, run defense out of the 3-4 over formation. The play we're going to be looking at today is Cat Blitz from 3-4 over. In my opinion, one of the better run defenses you can have out of this formation. Now, let me clear things up right off the bat. You are not ever going to call this run defense on first down or second down. Maybe not even on third down. You are going to call this run defense on third and two, third and three, fourth and inches, fourth and one. That's when you're calling this. This is not designed to be a base play. This is designed to be a run defense that you can use. All right? That being said, let's get into this. Okay, so you see we have the corner coming off the edge here. So right run is not going to happen. Left run is really all you got to worry about. Remember, we use her, this guy here in our defense, Bauman. So what I like to do in the cat blitz is I'll put Reed in a quarterback spy. And I'll play cover zero, and I'll, I'll be fine with it. Because remember, this is not, I also call this guy's cushion, certainly. But this is definitely not your base run defense. I mean, what, it's your base run defense, but it's not. A run defense is not going to be called in situations where you could potentially get beat, burnt passing. You're calling a run defense when you have probably an 80 to 50, or 75 to 80 percent um, gamble that they're going to run the ball. Third and two, third and three, fourth and one, fourth and inches. Okay, you're not calling this on second down and short, first and long. You're not doing that. First down is our base play. Second down is our zone coverage or our man coverage. Third down is where we either go with our zone blitz, our man blitz, or our run defense, depending on the situation and the tendencies. Okay, so here's the run defense, and all we're going to have to do here, we're, we're going to use our Bowman, and, and I'm just going to run the ball here. Uh, first things first, we're going to look at a halfback stretch from the pistol strong, and you're going to see halfback stretch right, not happening, not at all. All right, uh, now let's take a look at the counter. Um, all you have to do is just um, baseline press, put, the, put Reed here in a spy, and then the counter. Here we're going to see we're going to run counter. Here we got the edge, but it's our responsibility as a user player to get to the edge. So I, I kind of like, I'm kind of thinking, well, if I see counter, I'm going to get over there myself. So it's not, you know, it's just because I'm trying to do this with two controllers. I mean, here, let me just let the computer run for me. I guess I can do that. So snap, go, computer runs counter. I just need to get to the edge and hold it. And the spy is going to come. And just note on this run defense, the, 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 the safety on the spy is going to fill the A-gap. He's not going to go to the edge. He's not going to set the edge. That's your job as a middle linebacker now. So we basically switch the responsibility of the safety and the middle linebacker in this scenario. All right, and then the last run I wanted to show you was if they run an inside zone run. Uh, remember, we really like, we're really high on this. If I run inside zone on this thing, I'm going to get maybe three yards, maybe three yards. And But what this, uh, what this run defense does is it takes away the cutback for this run. Um, here you see again the counter, and, and again remember it's our job as that middle linebacker to be out there. Uh, let me just show you what will happen if we just put Reed out there in a flat, so he plays the, uh, so he'll play the the edge, and now you're going to see the counter's not as open as it once was. So, uh, but if he runs the inside zone, I'll uh, show you that inside zone run split. Click off of here. And I, there's just no cutback lanes. You see, if I go left, the safety's kind of in the way and can potentially make a tackle. With myself being a user player, uh, it's going to it's gonna allow for a lot of room for potential. And remember, this is probably the best run in the game, and there's just not that many cutbacks lanes. I mean, Gore's got to break a tackle. And in this game, if I can click onto my guy, I can typically make a decent tackle. Uh, and you got you know, by using the uh, dive tackle. Dive tackle this year is the way to go. And then here, if you run off tackle right, we know that ain't happening with Whitner over there and those boys. Uh, and then if you run off tackle left, that's probably the best shot you got. But remember, and we're just going to put him in a flat zone to mimic it. Bowman's going to, my job is to set the edge here. So if I see inside zone split, I know my job is to get out wide, set the edge. And then there you see the safety's free to make a tackle. Four yards minimum, uh, or four yards max on this uh, inside zone split. I mean, yeah, maybe once in a while they break one on you. That's how every run defense is this year. But but as a basic starting point, I think this is one of the better ones. And we're not really taking into consideration our user skill. So, guys, add the cat blitz to your playbook to stop the run in Madden 25. I think it's a really good play. Uh, but just remember to call it... Uh,
call it with uh, you know very cautious uh, measures. Make sure you're calling it in situations where he's probably going to run. Do not call it in situations where he's probably going to pass because you will get dotted because it's a cover one man pressure. So and you will get pressure off the right edge if they pass, but it's delayed. So just note that. Just remember, it's a man coverage. You're going to be all right if they pass. You're not going to be very good, though. They're going to be able to complete it on you. So just note that. But thanks for watching. If you have any questions or need further explanation of the run defense, hit me up on the in the comment section below or email me or check out some of the links in the description. Maybe they can lead you to an answer. Uh, and then real quick, remember that this is from the Pittsburgh Steelers Playbook, which is now being in the which has now been in, introduced into the Madden 25 MaddenTips.com Winners Kit, which you can check out in the description below. There should be a link where you can purchase that. And uh, they have not just the three four broken down but they have every formation in the um they have very uh i think they have the one four six uh i'm sure they have the one five five i'm sure they have the two three six so several several formations there for you guys to check out so thank you so much for watching my video i really encourage you to go check out madtips.com and thanks again guys a whole lot i appreciate another opportunity to share with you guys daily and we'll see you tomorrow morning with another blitz of the day and tomorrow afternoon with another defensive scheme of the week thanks for watching have a great day